What should you expect during a twin pregnancy? They say every pregnancy is different, but to what extent are twin pregnancies different from single pregnancies? First, your hormone levels are usually higher in a twin pregnancy. In early twin pregnancy, the beta HCG often reaches 30 to 50% levels higher than in a single pregnancy. However, don't hold on too tightly to that idea that very high HCG level is equivalent to a twin pregnancy because some single pregnancies actually have very high HCG levels. In any case, the implication of higher hormone production, whether it's early on in the twin pregnancy or later on in the pregnancy, means that the pregnancy symptoms are often felt a lot more intensely than usual. There is greater morning sickness, more tiredness, and even a heightened sense of your taste and smell. Some women produce more secretions, such as excessive quantities of saliva, although you might also get this in a single pregnancy. Even the pregnancy test kit seems to read faster than usual with a twin pregnancy because of the higher hormone levels. Your breasts are especially sensitive and this can be a very early sign having heavy, sore and painful boobs. Next, feeling tired is a part of pregnancy for many women, regardless of how many children you're carrying. Your heart and cardiovascular system are working harder, which is even more significant in a twin pregnancy. And this is whether there are one or two placentas. You end up feeling dizzy frequently at early and late stages of the pregnancy. Initially, it's because of the greater demands on your circulation by the two babies you're carrying. But later on, as your bump grows bigger, it pulls blood more towards the lower part of your body which makes it more likely that you feel dizzy easier. There's also feeling out of breath and extremely warm to the point of overheating. That happens to be the experience for many moms who are carrying twins. The next issue is feeling very sensitive, emotional, anxious or particularly vulnerable. Pregnancy itself is associated with rapid and unpredictable changes to your mood and this is no different to the twins pregnancy. In fact, it might even be worse, especially if you are not really expecting things to go down that route. Bursting into tears, being moody or simply feeling overwhelmed by it all may suggest that you're carrying twins, especially if it's happening alongside other twin pregnancy symptoms. Next is your bump size. It's not news that you have a larger bump when you're carrying twins, but what is often unexpected is just how quickly <laughs> and how large this bump actually grows. Twin moms start showing earlier and by the later stage of the pregnancy, the difference in bump size compared to single is huge. For instance, just to give you an idea, a twin pregnancy bump at about 32 weeks is about the same size as a single pregnancy bump at 40 weeks. Speaking of bumps, although this is not an early sign, you might experience more frequent kicks in different parts of the tummy, depending on where the babies lie as they grow. Big bumps are also related to feeling full quite quickly and more trouble with your stomach and bowels, for example, heartburn and constipation. Health tips for twin pregnancies. In your twin pregnancy, here are a few tips to make sure things go smoothly for you and the babies. Tip number one, you will need a additional medical testing and monitoring throughout your pregnancy. Whether it's more frequent ultrasounds or more frequent medical reviews to check on your blood pressure, urine and other general checks, you will need more visits to the doctor. This will help to keep track that the babies are growing well and if there is any complication they are spotted earlier than later. Two, it's really important that you're keeping well hydrated, taking enough essential nutrients and eating properly when you're carrying twins. This doesn't mean that you need to double or triple your calorie intake, but you're eating food that is rich in all the food groups. It makes sense to eat moderate amounts of food and eating small amounts frequently throughout the day works better for most women. Include fruits and vegetables, lean proteins and whole 
whole grains into your diet. Fiber from fruits and vegetables will help your bowels, which can tend to get particularly sluggish when you're pregnant. And that could make problems like constipation worse when you're carrying your twins. Keeping well hydrated supports the amniotic fluid levels in the amniotic sacs where the babies are lying and contributes to overall health. Some women may be prone to anemia to a greater extent, which again emphasizes the need for frequent checks and blood tests and so on. And so if you're anemic, your doctor might recommend extra supplements like iron or folic acid as the case may be. When you're pregnant carrying twins, the top supplements to support your baby's growth are iron, folic acid and calcium. Next, make sure you're sleeping well. In fact, this should be your top priority. We've already said how exhausting twin pregnancies can be. So aim to get eight to 10 hours of sleep at night and extra nap times during the day if you can manage it. Twin pregnancies are amazing, but they are associated with potential complications. So you should know about them and watch out for any signs that something may not be quite right. Examples are high blood pressure and preeclampsia, problems like gestational diabetes, or preterm labor. Discuss any unusual symptoms immediately with your doctor or midwife. For example, if you're developing um, persistent headache, excessive swelling of your feet or your hands, or changes to your eyesight, that may suggest preeclampsia. It's really important that you get on top and manage stress while you're pregnant. Avoid anything that can stress you because that would affect both your health and the health of the babies. Make out time to relax by meditating, take up pregnancy yoga, take spa breaks or schedule self-care days for hair treatments or body massage if you feel up to it. Exercise. I know you can get tired really easily but there are times when you might have bursts of energy and it's good to get in a few minutes of regular daily exercise if possible. And this could be simple walks, yoga at home or swimming. Benefits are that you maintain a healthy weight, improve your circulation, reduce any discomfort and you're able to recover quicker and easier after you've had your babies. A note of warning, it is best to suspend high impact or risky exercises until after the babies have been born. My next tip will be to think really carefully about traveling. You may not be able to travel fairly early on in your twin pregnancy. First, you may just be feeling too tired to move. And so long distance trips might just be challenging. Or if there are medical complications, your doctor will recommend that you do not travel or fly. The other thing I'd like to recommend is while you're preparing for delivery, have a conversation with your medical team about different delivery options for twin pregnancies including vaginal delivery or cesarean section and so on. Find out early on what reasons a cesarean section might be recommended. Some common examples are the positioning of the babies. For example, if there is a breach or awkward position in which the babies are lying, making it difficult for a vaginal delivery to happen. Or if your blood pressure is too high in a situation where there's preeclampsia or other problems that could affect you or the babies. Remember we've already said it's best to avoid stress and if you are mentally prepared for the possibility of alternatives to vaginal delivery for example, it's sometimes easier to deal with if that becomes necessary. So spend a little time well before the babies arrive in creating a birth plan and thinking about what you would prefer to happen, what kind of pain medication you'd like to have, what to expect during the delivery of your babies. So now let's look at some of the common challenges in twin pregnancies and how to overcome them. Let me know if you're finding this useful and please share in the comments section if you've had twin pregnancies before, what were your experiences? So let's think about what are the common challenges you may have during a twin pregnancy? How can you overcome them? I've talked about this a little bit, but one of them is high blood pressure. High blood pressure can affect between five to 16 out of every 100 women in their pregnancy. And this is higher for women carrying twins. Managing high blood pressure during a twin pregnancy might require close monitoring and adjustment to medication to ensure that both mom and the babies are healthy. The next is exhaustion. I've said that so many times, but it is a thing. Exhaustion can be overwhelming with twins, but think about balancing your rest with light exercises and where possible, delegate tasks and accept any help you're offered to manage fatigue. Next, bowel problems. Bowel issues like constipation are common. Thanks to the effect of your hormones and your huge bumps, 
squashing other parts of your body like your bowels so increasing your fiber intake staying well hydrated and gentle exercise can be very helpful to manage this if you're having problems speak to your doctor about a laxative to help your bowels to go regularly next morning sickness now you can avoid prevent or reduce the excessive vomiting when when you have morning sickness by eating small amounts of food or meals frequently and trying to stay hydrated to keep nausea at bay certain foods which i've listed here could help to reduce nausea so you could try them and see if they would help next dizziness dizziness we've talked about dizziness and explained why it happens but you can deal with it by changing position very slowly for example when you're standing up from a sitting position or from a lying position to sitting up do it very slowly so you're less likely to feel dizzy but in addition make sure you're taking plenty of fluids and eating a balanced diet these can help to mitigate the effects of dizziness while you're pregnant next sore boobies sore breasts can be relieved by wearing supportive and well-fitting bras in particular avoid wearing tight clothing that are restrictive and make you feel uncomfortable or restrict your breathing something really important to talk about is prematurity many women carrying twins deliver a lot earlier than women carrying a single pregnancy according to the nhs around six in 10 twins are born before 37 weeks and they're also born with a lower birth weight than single pregnancies. So to address the risk of prematurity, the important things that you can do are make sure you attend your regular prenatal or antenatal checkups. Following your doctor and midwife advice at your checkups can help in monitoring the pregnancy and hopefully extending it as long as possible for the babies to mature before they're delivered. Next, caesarean section. A C-section may be necessary for a twin pregnancy not all the time but sometimes it might be it's not always the case but keep it in mind as a possibility preparing for how you're going to recover it if it happens before the surgery can help to make it a whole lot easier if you're expecting twins or looking forward to having twins sometime in the future i hope this has been helpful and if you've had twins please let me know your experiences maybe there was something that completely blew your mind and you were totally not expecting in this pregnancy thanks for watching please don't forget to like this video and of course subscribe to the channel and i will see you again soon <laughs>